How you doing everyone? It's Saturday, hope everyone's doing all right. Back in front of the camera once again. I just dug a load of VCDs out. I only got a small pile, so I thought we'd show you them. Um, before DVD obviously come along, I used to enjoy going down to Chinatown in London here, flicking through the old VCDs. Used to go to a place called CD News. Uh, there was a one opposite as well, up next to Loon Moon Supermarket, which done all like the Ocean Shores VHS. Used to really enjoy it, and when I went up to Manchester, the Ch Chinatown up there was great as well. We used to enjoy going for all the movies and stuff. So I only got a small stack of CDs and stuff, um, uh, VCDs and stuff. So I'm just going to go through them and uh, show you uh, the days before DVD. And some of them, uh, you know, are getting released now. And um, I'd like to see some of the other category three and two B movies getting released, but. Let's go and have a closer look on the old table in the kitchen and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Yeah, so like I said, I um, was going through the collection and, and was digging out some bits and pieces as you do. Uh, and yeah, just come across a stack of VCDs and uh, yeah, this is Bloody Beach. You know, they used to come in these like slip cases. Some of them was like this, you know, with the two discs. There was normally MPEG-2. Unfortunately, this one's coming a little bit unstuck. Uh, but yeah, some of these movies need to be rediscovered and, and put onto uh, Blu-ray or DVD. You know, I'm going to go back over some of these. I, I really enjoyed this movie back in the day. I haven't seen it for so long. Uh, I'm going to have to give it a spin. Attack the Gas Station. I know, I think it's available on DVD. Uh, I think it was um, one of the older US companies that used to put out the stuff. But yeah, Attack the Gas Attack the Gas Station, really cool. Um, some movies have been reissued. The Record, this is a Cat Free movie. Um, you know, the Asian stuff, you're always going to find something that's totally bonkers. You know, I've actually got uh, wallets of VCDs. I used to love trawling around Chinatown in London. Used to get a great kick out of uh, just finding the weird oddities and stuff, you know. Uh, and I just need to go back over some of these. Got a Takashi Miike, which I know is out on DVD. City of Lost Souls. I think it's available over here as well. But yeah, just takes me back to a time when things were a little bit more simple, you know. Um, not like I said, not all of them had those cases and stuff. It all depends. This one's just been reissued. Um, this is Untold Story 2. Cat 3, you know. Yes. Anthony Wong. You know, I, I, I need to pick up the Blu-ray of this. Because uh, I, I still think the sequel's really good. And uh, I just need to go back over these. And got one that definitely needs an, an, an issue. This is Bloody Beast. Bit of an obscurity. Cat 3. Definitely worth checking out. This is what I mean. It, it was some of these obscurities that um, us guys used to enjoy, you know, getting your hands dirty, going through all, all the boxes in, in, in some of these places, especially like CD News. They, I mean, I can talk a little bit of Chinese and, and Cantonese and stuff like that, but the communication was also another thing. I'd, I'd have to explain about the cat free and stuff like that. And of course, there was a lot of adult stuff and... Um, I used to like all, all, all the all the gory stuff, you know, and the horror stuff. Trying to explain horror to 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 Chinese people, uh, or, or thrillers, or cop movies, or Jackie Chan stuff like that. You know, they they were like keywords, you know, Jackie Chan, Jet Li, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, this is another one, Diary of a Serial Killer. Another little thriller, erotic, violent. Kind of in the, in the vein of like Dr. Lamb. Definitely needs a rediscovery, this one. Um, I'm, I, I think someone like Vinegar Syndrome would pick this up. Diary of a Serial Killer. Very much in that same nastiness, you know, like, you know, like Bum Man and that sort of thing. This one has had a release, Right in Wrongs. You know, but it's, it's still nice. I, I just I don't know. There's something about a VCD, you know. This one definitely needs a, a, a an issue. Um, on Blu-ray, hunting list, cat free. I'm sh I'm sure someone's going to put this out. Either eighty eight films or vinegar syndrome. I'm sure they this one will be put out. Um, 
Another one that was quite uh, spoken about back in the day, the aisle. Um, this cap free. It, it was cut over here, if I remember rightly, um, by the BBFC where they're skinning the fish and stuff like that. Um, slightly trimmed, but yeah, this this is the uncut one. And I remember picking this up and thinking it, it was a good thing. Nang Nak. This is a traditional tale. Um, this ain't a bad film, you know, it's, if you like your ghost stories and stuff like that. Um, I can't, can't think who the director is. This is, but yeah, I mean, there's been other tales of Nang Nak and stuff, but yeah, I'm sure. If you go on the Hong Kong databases, you'll find the different movies. Born to be King. This had a DVD release. Um, but yeah, great fun. It's only Chiba there in the middle. Bit of Chubby Chiba. This is one. This was one of those Mondo movies you'd, you'd find. You'd find these in 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 Chinatown. They was obsessed with these Mondo sort of uh, documentaries. But you'd find them slipped in the racks and stuff like that. Jackie Chan, my stunts. You know, this has had various releases. I do love Jackie, you know, and this shows you about all these stunt props and stuff like that. The Cat. This is a Category 2. Again, you know, they've got their odd sort of genres and stuff. This one was uh, quite a release. Uh, you, got, you had The Secret in the Soup and Human Pork Chop. Very similar... Um, based on the on the true true stories, human pork chop. There's a couple of different editions of that. I've got a different cut on on like a bootleg CD. Um, it was based on a true story. Again, I'm sure that someone will put these out. Quite nasty. Um, there's a couple of horrible scenes in in both films, to be honest. And uh, I'm sure someone will will eventually pick them up. Um, either 88 films or. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome, probably more likely Vinegar Syndrome for those two. Lolita, this is the remake, Adrian Lin. You know, I just kept it quite controversial, even the remake was controversial. Um, the original by Stanley Kubrick. This is out of release. This was released on Mondo Macabro uh, in the States, and I can't remember who's issued it over here. Gemini, this is the original. Uh, VCD, you know, and the director, you know, you know who the director is, I don't need to tell you. The Peeping Tom, another Cat 3. Again, I'm sure uh, Vinegar Syndrome will pick this up, or one of those, what's that, Error 333, they might, they might pick something like this up. Again, just all these little gems. I know that Error 333 is putting out this. This is Run and Kill. This is out of release in Germany. Uh, this is the VCD, you know, I just, just kept hold of it. Quite controversial back in the day, and, you know, I, I kind of like it. Another one I know is getting reissued, uh, and just really looking forward to it. Always wondered if this one was cut. Uh, Red to Kill, uh, quite brutal. Um, I don't know if it would get an issue over here in, in the UK, but, yeah, I'm sure that uh, Error 333 is putting out this. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I'm pretty certain they're putting that one out. If not, I'm sure Vinegar Syndrome will do it. Intruder, this is coming to the end of the Asian stuff here. Intruder, this is a category three. Again, this is had like a German release. Uh, different edition. I've got I think I've got the bootleg or is it original? I can't remember in, in the room. But yeah, good little film. And I've just got a couple of other oddities on on like the CD sort of case. Um, I'm gonna start off uh, start off <laughs> going to show you this one this is tourist oma i think it was tourist oma in the sky or it's known amongst collectors as turkish star trek basically this guy's a comedian in turkey uh this has got no sub this is like a hard this is the raw cut this original um vcd i bought this off of trevor barley back in the day who used to do the media publications and uh yeah he used to you know have the turkish stuff and i'll pick this up this original um yeah so turkish star trek as it's known amongst the circles i've actually got a subbed version of this but this is the hard raw version this is the only way you could get to see leon was the japanese dvd believe it or not they had the old laser disc which was uh the long version as well but 
on DVD once uh, Laserdisc sort of died off this was the only way you could see it was the Japanese DVD and uh, yeah you know I've kept, I've kept it for old times like it was an expensive expensive disc back in the day I've got to admit and I just I still like it I still I don't know there's something about that DVD version that still looks really cool and last but not least I made a killing selling these um, I imported a couple of boxes of Thai Hout Tension it was the only way you could see it um, I contributed to an article in one of the magazines as well is it uncut you know you see my name attributed it at the, at the bottom of the thing and I met um, Alexandre Adger and uh, Cecil de France at a Fright Fest when it was premiered back in the day signed this disc and uh, basically I made a composite of this disc of this print and there was a French DVD back in the day yeah she the director was he was nice and and so was Cecil de France yeah so it was just a, a meeting outside of Prince Charles Cinema in London and yeah that's that, that's the last one I thought seeing as their CD cases might as well just stick them all in with me VCDs anyway hope everyone's doing all right thanks a lot for tuning in subscribing really appreciate it it's uh going really well and uh just want to thank everyone that's watching you know it means a lot uh and for all the comments and stuff anyway hope you're having a good weekend take it easy see you all next time